Hey guys, here we are with another YouTube video, and today I'm going to be doing bullying in different countries. It's a presentation, many slides, and I hope you enjoy it. It's going to tell you how to how bullying is in different is in different countries, what you can do to save yourself from bullying, and yeah. A central question: What is bullying like in other countries, and how are they trying to stop it? So first of all, what is bullying? Now, bullying is unwanted aggressive behavior among someone that involves a real or perceived power imbalance. The behavior is aggressive and repeated constantly, which makes the victim feel pretty bad and sometimes it can end in a pretty good way and others not so well. We'll see a couple examples of that in the presentation. Contrary to most bullying, USA. The country with the number two most bullying is Japan. And the third one might surprise you because it's Brunei. I don't know if you guys know if Brunei is a country, but it's not a very highly populated country. So. It's because it's not very populated, you may think that it's not that much bullying, but as you can see, even though Brunei is not as populated as many other countries, it has the third most bullying in the world. There's a couple of websites that I found this from, and I was pretty surprised to see that. Now, the least bullying. The country with the number one most least bullying. Least bullying is Sweden. Country with the number two least bullying is Czech Republic, and the third is Italy. So Italy is a pretty populated country, pretty important country. It's pretty decent in size too, and um, you may think a lot of bullying happens there, but surprisingly not. Asia. So the next few countries we're going to talk about are in Asia and. It is India, Russia, and China. Cases of bullying are incredible. So bullying is pretty common in schools, but it's really more common in colleges more than schools. And most of the bullying that happens in colleges is ragging. Now if you guys don't know what ragging is, ragging is where a higher grade person, a higher grade student, would embarrass and make fun of a lower grade student. So like in colleges, they'd embarrass all the lower grade students in front of many people. Sometimes it's even in front of the teachers, but yeah, they get in trouble. Jammu and Kashmir. Now Jammu and Kashmir is a land currently occupied by India that Pakistan and China are both fighting for. Both countries attack India for that piece of land. Now, I consider Jammu and Kashmir as like kind of global bullying. It's not necessarily like really bullying, but the what they they just want that piece of land, so they keep having a war there. A lot of the army is in that section. A lot of wars happen. So here's a ton of places that are like by Jammu and Kashmir, and where the fighting is happening, and yeah. Indian kids are most cyberbullied in the world. As you know, India is, I think, yeah, India is the second most populated country in the world. It is set to beat China's population in around 2050-ish. So that's pretty surprising because China has a really big population and a pretty big country too. And as you know, as the population of any country gets bigger, technology keeps rising, more things come available, and India's population is rising like crazy. So, that's why the technology is increasing and cyberbullying is also getting worse. Now, Russia. Bullying among youth 8 to 17 years old. So, all the bullying that happened in Russia is mainly between the ages of 8 to 17 years old. Most kids in the ages of 8 to 17 year old are targeted rather than other ages like adult or 
like five years old. Now, a book that kind of relates to this is called A Bullying Under Attack. Bullying Under Attack was about a ton of stories of children between the ages of 8 to 17 years old. And they were bullied and how it affected them. Some ended the bullying by writing a note to the bully. Made Sometimes the bully even cried and it, like stopped, became a good person for once. Actually cared for other people and actually had friends. And others took it to a different level and they died. Ukraine. Russia has always been a bully to R R Ukraine. What I mean by that is that ever since Ukraine has separated from Russia, Russia has always attacked it with many weapons. Now, as you can see, here are some sections that the fighting happens in, U in Ukraine. But some of the, here are some of the bullying statistics in Russia. So 49% are bullied online, 71% are bullied offline, and 86% are bullied online or offline. China. Bullied to death. In China, at least 30 serious case bullying cases have been reported by Chinese media in the past nine months. In the most extreme cases, the bullied students were beaten to death. That's not very pleasant. That is very bad. That's a really harsh case of bullying, and I hope China government has some anti-bullying programs that work out. Anti-bullying programs sometimes can not really help, because it teaches the bully better ways to bully. Now, in the USA, a lot of anti-bullying programs backfire. They spend lots of money on them, but they really backfire because the fact that the bullies learn better ways to bully. And it doesn't have, help them, like, not become a bully. They just learn, oh, we should do this, and it hurts some more. Or it makes them feel worse. Global bullying. Bullying can reach up to a global level, and China is currently bullying, fighting, not very nice to the Philippines, Brunei, Malaysia, Taiwan, Japan, and kind of intimidating Vietnam. Now, those countries, people there, would also not really like China that, that much. Hatred is everywhere. Now, bullies in China schools get a lecture, a record, and their parents' protection. Now, they get the lecture from their teachers or principal, and it's a record in their book, but they get their parents' protection because their parents say, oh, my child is not a bully and he doesn't do any harm. And the parents protect the child because they're like, my child didn't do anything bad. Even if they did, the parents try to defend their child. Now, the next country I'm going to talk about is Europe. The countries are going to be the UK, France, and Germany. Bullying laws in the UK. So, violence or assault, um, theft, repeated, re repeated harassment or intimidation, or like name calling, threats, abuse of phone calls, emails or text messages, hate crimes, um, many other things. Did you know that bullying is illegal in the UK? You can get arrested for bullying. Over 3.2 million students are bullying are victims of bullying each year. Approximately 16,000 teens, 1,600 teens, skip school every day because of bullying. And I said 1,600. I meant to say 1,600. <laughs>
160,000 actually. Global bullying in British, in the UK. So, British has been ruling many countries for many years. They found many countries, but yet they're like very rude to the people there. Some countries are Canada, um, some countries in Africa, pretty sure this one is probably Sudan, um, Australia, and Papua New Guinea, and that's India. And there's a couple countries here, you can't see the line between them, but that one is, I think, there's Nepal there, there is also, um, Myanmar, and some other countries there. France. Two teenage French girls killed themselves after being bullied in school. That's a really bad case of bullying. You don't want that to happen. One thing you can do when you're being bullied is you need to get to an authority. If you know you're about to be a victim of a bully, let's say like your friend gets bullied and he doesn't feel so well about it, but you always stick with him. You're probably going to assume that they're going to come to you next. You're going to be the next victim. So what do you want to do? You want to make sure that you are with an authority. And you tell an authority about something that happened. You can talk to a trusted adult and they will help you out. And if, you, if they trust you, you trust them, they'll help you solve your problems. They'll be with you. They'll be with you when you need them they'll help you and they'll support you they'll stay by your side so if you really feel like you're going to be a victim of bullying or are being currently bullied one thing you should do is go talk to someone you really trust and sometimes it's hard to do that but you need to try because it'll really help you every day Facebook shutdown. So, France's education minister made national headlines this week when he announced plans to combat bullying by shutting down Facebook accounts of students who harass their classmates. Now, I really like that. They're just shutting down Facebook, taking off that social media, and cutting off that cyberbullying. Like, that's a really good way to stop this. France campaign. France has been working on a new campaign and it is aiming to tackle anti-LGBT bullying in middle school and high schools across the country of France. Now that's very nice that um, they're trying to stop bullying in many schools, middle school and high school, elementary school. They're, they have good campaigns and I really hope they work. As I mentioned before, not all campaigns work. Not all anti-bullying programs work. But yeah. Germany. Jewish teachers in German public schools are grappling with the slide with the question of whether it is safe and appropriate to reveal their identity amid a rise in the anti-Semitic incidents in the nation's schools. The PISA study released on Wednesday found that 15.7% of German 15-year-olds surveyed reported being regular victims of bullying at school at least a few times a month. Now, in other countries, you you can get bullied every day. In Germany, they're getting bullied a few times a month. Now, you may consider that not much, but depend on how harsh that bullying is. Now, you really don't want to be going through something like that, because bullying is just not fun. Bullies, they do it for satisfaction. They do it to gain power. 
and that's just not right. Several recent cases of extreme violence at German schools have provoked officials to call for video surveillance. Experts say this won't help, adding that more trust between teachers and students is needed. The next country we're going to talk about is Africa. The three countries are going to be South Africa, Kenya, and Seychelles. I used to say this one as Seychelles until I actually learned how to pronounce it. So it's pronounced Seychelles. South Africa. South African grade 5 pupils people recorded the highest occurrence of bullying out of 49 states. 44% of children reported being bullied about weekly and 34% reported being bullied about monthly. More than half of South American parents know a child in their community experienced cyberbullying, a substantially larger percentage than their overall overall average of 33%. South Africa has made a website against bullying. And the website is this. Be a buddy, not a bully. That's the best slogan to stop bullying. Kenya. Students in Kenyan secondary schools are experiencing higher levels of bullying than the international trend. Development researchers warn may hurt individual performance and self-esteem. Those who are bullied are increasing, transforming themselves into bullies, increasing the prevalence of the incidents in secondary schools, according to research released one week ago by Africa Mental Health. As you can see, the cycle happens. A kid gets bullied. Now they're like, I don't want this to happen to me. I am going to become a bully. And that's going to keep going on until everyone becomes bullies. And it just starts over. One bully is, wants to bully the other bully. And it just keeps going. It's a cycle, and it's not a good cycle. Bullies, they just want to have power, they want to have followers. If there is another way for them to have friends, a lot of bullies, the second they start bullying people, you notice that they get followers. Also bullies. And they like to stay stick in a gang. If you've watched many bully movies, then you understand that there's always like a gang of bullies. And one of them's always the big bully, the leader. They just want to have power, they want to have respect, and, yeah. The authorities always try to stop that. They try their best. Sometimes authorities don't even care, but most authorities actually care. So always try to talk to an authority if you feel as if you're being, you're about to be bullied, you're being bullied, your friend's being bullied, and they're too scared to talk. Always support anyone who is going through something like this. And if you see a gang of bullies hurting people that you don't know, always tell an authority, get the problem solved right away, make those bullies stop what they're doing, and maybe the bullies will understand what they are doing, and they'll become a better person. Better people. As Kenya comes to the terms with shocking cases of bullying in schools, the Alliance High School incident is not an isolated one, and according to a recent study, the vice may not be resolved quickly. Seychelles In Seychelles, an archipelago in the western Indian Ocean, cases of bullying have been increasing. There was a national outcry when videos circu cir circulated on social media showing some students being bullied by their peers, and in one case, one young person was hospitalized.
Recent research has shed light on the possible relationships between weight status, physical appearance, and bullying victimization. And something pretty sad is a young boy in Seychelles was slapped on the face over 20 times, and he was a victim of bullying. He was hospitalized, and the, he was bleeding. This picture was from Shutterstock, and it kind of represents that. It's really sad what bullies can do. And as you know, the first slide is Machina bullying. That was really bad. Some bullying is pretty little. They just talk amongst themselves about them, but they don't spread rumors or anything. You can talk to them, work out what's happening, why they don't like you, and why they why they bully you, and solve things out. Sometimes just even write a letter or a note to them, and it really does change them. You may be surprised, but many kids... Over a thousand kids in the USA wrote a letter to their bully, and the bully actually changed. The bully actually became a better person, and they were friends. Instead of the bully bullying the victim, the victim and the former bully were actually best friends. That's surprising, right? Try it. It really works. Next country we're going to talk about is North America. The three, I mean, the next continent we're talking about is North America. And the countries are going to be USA, Canada, and Mexico. I probably said country a lot. USA, Canada, and Mexico are the three biggest countries in North America. Canada being the first biggest, USA. Actually, I don't know if Canada is the biggest because of Alaska being a part of the USA. So, comment down below if you guys know which is the bigger country, Canada or the United States. I think Canada might be bigger because of all those islands it has on top and near Greenland. But Alaska is pretty big. It's huge. So, comment down below if you guys know which is a bigger country, Canada or USA. USA. Middle school students were more likely to be bullied than high school students. Nearly 40% of middle schoolers said that they had been bullied. 27% of high schoolers said the same. More than one out of every five 20%, 20 20.8% students report being bullied. How often does bullying happen in the USA? Well, just read this. In the next seven minutes, a child in the US will be bullied. Literally. One the minute, three, chi three childs are bullied. That's how bad the bullying is. That's a lot of bullying. Bullies should just stop. Like, it's not even right to be mean to other people. The bullies don't understand how they would feel when they were being hurt, made fun of, teased by someone else. They don't know how it feels. Canada. Canada has the ninth highest rate of bullying in the world. In the beginning of the presentation, I said the top three countries with the most bullying. Canada comes on the ninth. Canada has a ninth highest rate of bullying in the 13 year old category on a scale of 35 countries. 47% of kids get bullied. 47% of Canadians, Canadian parents report having a child victim of bullying. And as I mentioned before, adults also get bullied. And here it is. 40% of Canadian workers, slash adults, experience bullying on a weekly basis. You may think adults can stand up for themselves. Yes, they can. They can stand up for themselves, but sometimes 
they can't, and they go through stuff too. They probably stand up to themselves and get a lot of the blade turned off, but it just keeps happening. In jobs, anywhere you go, you'll probably see some bullying. A couple colleagues will not like another colleague, and they'll just talk amongst themselves, spread rumors. It's all just bad. You shouldn't have hatred on someone for the way they look, for where they're from, for what religion they are. You shouldn't have hatred on them. Or you shouldn't be mean to them. For example, in one in USA, around the Civil War time, slavery was there. Not just USA. A lot of the world had slaves. And slavery is a really bad thing. But I'm really glad that many people hated slavery and hated to trade treat others that way just came just because they were a different skin color people shouldn't be treated that way and finally slavery has stopped and i think till this day there are still countries that actually are mean to other people it's not as bad as slavery but it's not good comment down below if you guys know any of those countries Mexico. 27% of school principal recognize that the problem occurs in the classroom at least once a week. In recent weeks, public officials in Mexico have turned fo to focus on another form of violence which plagues in society, school bullying. <laughs> Four pupils grabbed 12-year-old Hector Alejandro Mendez by his arms and legs and swung him, banging his head against a wall. He died after a week. Now that's really bad bullying. As you can see, this is not the real bullying that happened. But there's probably people everywhere that hate that kid. Just taking picture of the four bullies hurting that kid. And it was so bad that he was he died after a week south america the next three countries in south america are going to be brazil argentina and venezuela these are probably some popular countries there are a lot of countries in south america that many people know um I wanted to do most of them for a lot of the continents, um, but it would be a pretty big presentation. This presentation right now is over 50 slides because there's a lot of information about a lot of these. And I don't want to add too much, but I want people to understand the different types of bullying that are happening, how they can stop it, why, why the bullies do this. And yeah. In 2012, a study showed that 92% of Brazilian children aged 9 to 17 years old are cyberbullied. As you can see, here is a, an actual chart, not a fun picture. This is an actual chart of the bullying, and it's a chart of how the bullying happened in Brazil. If you guys want to look at that for a couple more seconds, I'll leave that up. Seventy percent of students said that they had witnessed an act of bullying. About seventy percent of more than five thousand students surveyed that they had witnessed an act of bullying, according to a two thousand nine study of bullying. Nine percent of high schoolers attempt to kill themselves every year. 14% children belonging to high school think of suicide and approximately 7% actually attempt it every year. Authorities have stopped a bunch of it, but bullying can get to 
a really bad level. Like killing yourself. Argentina. 66% bullied in Buenos Aires. A 66% of surveyed of 1,695 students in Buenos Aires were victims of bullying. And 22% are afraid of being victimized by a bully in the near future. 17-year-old student um, killed himself. So authorities, authorities are investigating whether it was an extreme case of bullying that led to the death of a 17-year-old student in Argentina. Beautiful bullying in Argentina? What? You're more likely to be bullied if you're beautiful in Argentina. Now that's... That's different. A lot of bullying doesn't happen that way, but in Argentina it's a little different. A lot of people get bullied because they look good. But because they look good. Now, in other schools, in other schools, if you don't wear nice clothes, if you don't have nice shoes, you don't have a good watch, you get bullied. But a little plot twist in Argentina. It's the opposite way. Venezuela. Violence among adolescents has untoward psychosocial and physical health effects among the age group. International pressure is building on Venezuela to resolve its problems. As many of you may know, Venezuela right now, or is like kind of in a problem. They don't have much money, food, and a lot of people there are struggling. And so the international pressure on the country is really building up. That's one of the reasons, the main reason I picked Venezuela is because of what was happening. I read on the news how bad it was and what was really happening in Venezuela. So I wanted to research some of the bullying that actually happens there. And yeah. Bullying, victimization, and physical fighting among Venezuelan adolescents in Barinas. I'm pretty sure the Barinas is... It's a place in Venezuela. Oceania. 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 Now, I was going to do Australia, but Australia is a continent, and it does also a country. But then there's like places like Indonesia, and some other countries like New Zealand, Fiji, and Australia. They're like... In the place called Oceania. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that incorrect though. And on the map, you will not see anything called that, called Oceania, but it is referred to as a place sometimes. And yeah. So the three countries I'm gonna do, I've already mentioned. Australia, Fiji, and New Zealand. As you can see, these all have the UK flag on them. So they were all colonized by the British. And New Zealand and Australia's flags look pretty similar. Except the stars, that's the only difference. Australia school bullying. All Australian school communities are different, and each student's circumstances are individual, but there are some general action schools to take to address bullying. The annual economic impact of bullying in Australia's totals an estimated $2.3 billion incurred while children in school and for 20 years after school completion. The annual economic impact in bullying is, in Australia, estimates so of $2.3 billion. Now that's a lot of money. $2.3 billion is incredible. 
Like, that's a lot of money. Right there, it's not a million, it's a billion. A lot of money has lost, spent in the bullying problem in Australia. In Australia, bullying hits the top chart as a number one social issue for students across all states and all t territories in Australia. That's not good at all. The top as a social issue. Sometimes it's like social media problems are addicted to uh, some game like Fortnite or PUBG, I don't know. Fiji. The UNICEF work with authorities in Fiji to create awareness on cyberbullying. And by the way, if you don't know what UNICEF stands for, it stands for the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. That's a lot. A bully free zone. A university is committed to providing a positive working environment free from intimidation, ridicule, and harassment. Kindness, both online and offline, is a responsibility that begins with each of us. Now, these two slides, they show that bullying is not very common in Fiji. Yes, bullying happens all around the world, including Sweden, Italy, and the Czech Republic. But Fiji is also one of those countries which does not, isn't very populated and doesn't get too much bullying. That's good for the country. New Zealand. Survey answers from the New Zealand showed that 26.1% of the students taking part reported being subject to some type of bullying at least a few times a month. New Zealand is a really nice place. Um, and bullying, it has quite a population. And yes, there is some bullying there. Surveys carried out by the Adolescent Health Research Group at the Auckland University have found little change in rates of bullying in New Zealand schools over the past decade. Fifth grade students report, being, report bullying behaviors about weekly or monthly. That's a lot of bullying there. Now some independent books that we've read, that I've read. Um, so one of the books is Wonder. Now, I really recommend Wonder. It's a pretty nice book. Now, Wonder is about a child that has a different book. His name is August. His nickname is Augie. And he gets bullied for how he, his face looks. He's been through many surgeries. And he's went through a lot. He's, he's also homeschooled until his parents forced him to go to reschool. A real school because I can't always homeschool him. August made some friends, but one of his best friends, Jack Will, betrayed him and they made fun of him. Now, if you were about to read this book, Wonder, you probably don't want to see this part of the video because this is kind of like a summary of the whole book. So, when he enters fifth grade for the first time, he only has a few friends and everyone looks at him and they leave him out. They, when they play games, they just don't include him. They exclude him. He's left out on everything. And, yeah. They even play a game called The Plague. And the class took a picture. A mom pho photoshopped Augie's face out and sent it to other moms. While on a field trip, a group of 7th graders bullied him. Now, bullying in the book Wonder is a lot. And the game called Plague, it's where if they touch him, they have an infection or a virus called the plague, and they need to give it to someone else to get rid of it, or they need to wash their hands a ton of times. 
But in the end of the story, all the bullies learned what they did was wrong. They realized that August is not as bad as they thought he would be. He's actually a really nice person. Augie is very smart, too. Independent book, Freaks. So, the so-called freaks in this book has strange abilities or were just different. So, an owner of a circus put them in a freak show and treated them like farm animals. That's a bad case of bullying farm animals. Farms, they treat their animals pretty well, but some farms, they really put those animals in pain. And they had different abilities, so... And they put them in a freak show and treated them like farm animals. Freak the Mighty is also a really good book that I recommend. Um, the summary of Freak the Mighty is where there's a kid who cannot walk. His name is Kevin, also called Freak. And the Mighty is Max, who's very tall but very dumb. So Freak is really, he's very smart. He knows like everything, literally everything. And Max is very dumb. He knows nothing, not even how to read a book. And so they, those two together, they combined as a team. As you can see in this picture, this is Max. He's a giant. He's like seven foot. He's been held back many times. And that Freak, he can't walk. But together, they call themselves Freak the Mighty. They help people. They save people. There's even a movie called Freak the Mighty. It's a really good movie. You guys should read this book. It's amazing. Um, you should also watch the movie. I love the movie. It's a little different from the book, but overall, they're both amazing. It used to be called Just the Mighty, I'm pretty sure. Conclusion. Bullying can happen anywhere in the world, and it can range from a couple insults to beaten to death. Luckily, a lot of countries are working towards preventing bullying. Now, the bibliography. Um, a lot of websites. Here's just page one. You want to see page two? Let's go to page two. A ton of websites. There's still more. Page 3. Maxed out of websites. Page 4. Still websites. And last but not least, page 5. Yay. And we're done. If you guys have any questions, just put them in the comments below. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Answer your questions and make sure your doubts are clarified. Enjoy. Have a great week. See you on my next video. Remember, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn on the post notifications. Bye-bye.